and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. Today, I'm gonna be going over how to repair for Series 3. So, obviously, guys, you guys know that Series 3 is coming November 1st, which is about. Let's check the calendar so I don't botch this real quick. I believe November 1st is Friday, it is. So, I believe that's when they're going to be releasing it. That is Friday morning at 10 30 is typically when they do it. Now, new series are pretty cool. I see it's like a steroid shot in the arm of Madden. It really it gets people back into the game for a little bit. It like it boosts, it like starts up the next sequence of Madden, and then it'll keep us busy for like give or take a week, and then the new promo drops. Like is that all is all is said and said and done. You know what I'm saying? Like all is well and good, whatever that saying is. So November 1st through November like 14th, 15th, we'll all be so worried about the level of grind, the solos, journey, everything. And before you know it, Thanksgiving promo starts. So I'm pretty excited this is starting this way, guys. I do have chicken nuggets in the oven right now, so I gotta get this video done before my house burns down. So let's get through this video as quickly as possible. Hopefully, I time this correctly and I don't end up burning something down. But, 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 guys, what's coming with Series 3? I'll go over a whole checklist in a minute, but let's do our quick little intro before we get into this video, boys. If you're new to the channel, go down below, hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that notification bell. Come join the family. We are at about almost 11K. We are 50 subscribers away from 11K. So what are you guys waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. You guys won't regret it. Community will tell you. Come join, boys. Let's start. Let's start making this channel into one of the biggest channels in the community. Obviously, we're tiny. Obviously, big for me is just relevant. That's all I really care about. I don't, I'm, I'm obviously not going to be probably the biggest, but you guys get the point. Now, comment down below. Say what's up. Let me know what you guys think. What are you guys personally doing to kick off your series three? And what are you guys doing to prepare for Series 3? And if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 150 likes. And if you guys are really feeling savvy, 200 likes, all the OG supporters, the loyal fans, you guys already know. Always hit that like button, boys. Now, first things first, what comes with Series 3? New trophies. So as you guys see in the top right corner, we got S2 trophies, which stands for Series 2 trophies. And getting trophies when the Series first start, it's pretty easy. So don't worry about that. I'll go over that in a second. But before we go into that... What Series 3, or any new series, will always bring is a reduction in trophies. So you guys are going to lose half your trophies. So here's where the question comes of do you save or do you spend your trophies? So in my opinion, if you have a lot of trophies, you might want to spend some. If you have a little bit of trophies, not a big deal. Like for me, I have 150. Do I care if I lose 75 trophies? Not really. But if I had like 10,000 trophies, would I be mad if I lost 5,000? Yeah. I'd, in my opinion, the best thing to do, if you have a lot of trophies, like a few thousand saved up, Go over to competitive currency and buy every John Madden collectible. Because these are always going to be a thousand. They're always going to be every uh, series. You're always going to need them. So I recommend you just get, if you have extra, get those done. Because the worst thing you could do is have like 5,000 trophies and then series three hits. And then you end up with 2,500 trophies and you lose half of it. And I mean, again, you could save it if you really want to. Because then you can get the competitive master off the bat. Like, if you guys have like 3,000 trophies or 4,000 trophies, you want to make a lot of coins. You save those 4,000 actually. In this case specifically, and you buy the competitive master, the the sellable one, you could sell them for like a million day one. That's if you have that many. If you have way more than that, you could still spend some, still hold some, and still do all of that. It depends on how many you really have. Would I recommend converting my trophies into any packs or anything? If you guys are feeling lucky, you can. I'd personally rather take the John Madden, get the guaranteed stat boost on all my cards, and really rock out with that. That's just the way I would like to go about upgrading my team and staying with a good use of trophies. Now, with Series 3 with new trophies... Remember, don't be concerned about getting trophies in Series 3. Typically, the first set of 1,000 trophies you can earn are easy. So I do, I do it like this. Pretty much, the trophies you earn per... People average between 1,000 and 3,000 trophies earned per series. Now, the first 1,000 is super easy because of objectives. The second 1,000 is harder, and the third 1,000 is damn near impossible unless you play every day. So pretty much, when the series first starts, we're going to get new house stores, probably. House stores gives us a ton of trophies. Then... We're going to get the new series progression objective. So pretty much every multiplayer when I'm getting trophies, 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 trophies. It just keeps going up. Then we're obviously more excited to play the new series. We're playing the game a little more. The first set of 1,000, really, really easy. It's after that where things start really ramping up. And we're kind of done with those objectives. We're kind of, there's no more house rules. Or we already played that first house rules. You guys get the point. Now, like I said, what you can expect with a new series is a new master. So me and Xerxes have been talking about who could be the new master, and I mean, he says Byron Jones, but like, I don't know. It makes sense, but I feel like it's a biased Cowboy fan opinion. I don't really know. And Byron Jones would make sense because I have told you guys he has not gotten a single upgrade yet this year. He's still a base elite who's a pretty good real-life cornerback. 
I mean, it was defensive Von Miller first time, and it was a 91 overall. Second time, it was a 93 overall halfback Melvin Gordon. So if the pattern continues, it should be defense again. And if the pattern continues, he'd be a 95 overall. Although, I don't think he'll be a 95 overall because that would be pretty too high. He's either going to be a 94 or 95. Now, it could be defense. I'd imagine the secondary, just hopefully not the safety, right? Because the safety would kind of suck being that we already have Pat Tillman. So I really would, I wouldn't want anything over there. I'd imagine maybe a defensive lineman or a cornerback, which is we're leaning more towards cornerback. What would I prefer if they give us anything? I mean, I'd like a tight end. I think a tight end would be cool. A lineman would be cool. Things that I'd actually want to use. Halfback Melvin Gordon didn't really give me much of a use this year. Although he was very awesome, people did do really well with him. I personally didn't think it was worth it considering like I wanted Saquon stuff. Now, with it coming, one of the biggest aspects, guys, are going to be at limited times we'll be back in packs as Redux cards. Now, the first series just wasn't that cool only because the cards that we have were like Christian McCaffrey, Devontae Adams. The cards weren't that great, so like I didn't care. This time around, guys, some pretty awesome cards coming back into packs. So, heading on over to Mutt 10. A lot of these Mutt 10 cards are coming back into packs. So, obviously, Bo Jackson and Vic are already in there. So, Calvin will be in packs now. Um, Rob Gronkowski will be in packs. I think Joe Thomas might still be in packs. Peppers will be in packs, Deion Sanders will be in packs, and Randy Moss. So, hopefully, these guys come down to, like, below a million coins and we can afford them. So, that's going to be the coolest part. A lot of you guys who are around, like, my coin range, you guys can finally, like, achieve these cards. Because, like, for 2 million coins, obviously, no one was getting Deion Sanders or anything. But, for, like, 800k, 600k, because they start coming down. Once they're Redux cards, they're pretty much regular cards. So, they will come down. Also, we have the chance of pulling them with monthly rewards and everything. So, hopefully, that, you know, we get that chance. I hope I can pull one of them. That'd be awesome. Uh, who I'm looking to pick up guys remember also we get the limit to all the other limited time cards which isn't just limited to that Okay, let me go show you guys the rest. I there's no limited time I think there should be a limited time filter, but they don't have that 92 93s If you go all the way down to the bottom, you'll see pretty easily where all they where they all are So we're gonna get the new Matt Ryan back in packs. We should be getting Aaron Rodgers potentially I forget when the cutoff was but you guys understand um Alvin Kamara will be in packs. Derek Carr will not be, I don't believe. Let's see. George Kittle will be in packs. Le'Veon Bell will be in packs. So, all these cards will get those pink Redux cards you guys know of. And, theoretically, they should all come down quite a bit. So, I'm hoping that some of them become affordable. Um, that's what I'm really excited for. Because I want to pick up Aaron Donald. I want to pick up a few new guys. And a big part is a power pass, guys. So, start prepping for that, too. We're getting a new power pass. I believe the last power pass went to a 90, I believe. Which was Lawrence Hale. So, this power pass should be 91-92. So you can actually start powering up passing some of these limited time cards. So if it is 91-92, you could potentially power up past Michael Vick. You could power up past a Mutt 10 card, which is really awesome. Personally, for me, if I got my if I get my power pass, I probably use it on. Um, um, is Deion Sanders an option? If Deion Sanders, is he 93 or 92? See, if, it, if I can't get Deion, I'll probably go with George Kittle. I'll probably end up power passing him or Aaron Donald. Those probably be my top options for power passes. Or, obviously, George uh, George Kittle, Aaron Donald, or Deion Sanders. I think Deion Sanders might be a 93, though. He's 92. Okay, so if they give us a 91, 92 power pass, I will be using it on Deion Sanders, most likely, or Randy Moss, because I, I didn't know I had those options. I hope they give us that. Also, don't forget your daily objectives again, you guys those too. So, remember, as a checklist for Series 3, be on the lookout to save your coins for Redux cards power passes we're also getting a new level up grind so that's pretty awesome guys don't forget level up grind gives you tons of coins the power pass and some packs so make sure you're doing that as soon as that becomes available to you guys make sure you're on the lookout for that me personally i'm gonna hit the level up grind probably within the first week get that done for you guys get the video show you guys the packs and hopefully get a power pass and i hope they don't screw us like a 90 to 91 because 91 to 92 that will open up almost all the mud 10 players give us so much potential for there's just so much we can get kamara aaron donald kittle randy moss dion I'm really hoping that is the way they go with this. I'm hyped. If they give us that, we're gonna I'll make a video going over who to use the power pass on. There's gonna be so many good options to do that on. Hopefully, all goes as planned. Series 3 is dropping about four days from now, which is pretty awesome. Um, what else can you really do? Not much. Like, like I said, have your coins ready for some Redux cards. Pack odds will be getting better. So if you guys did plan on opening packs, maybe wait a few more days because as of Friday when the new series drop, pack odds usually do increase. As will the store currency packs like flashbacks, heavyweights, and those guys. Most feared should go back into uh, into training. That's crazy. Most feared's already over. That went fast, guys. But that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. This video was um, about usual time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. If you're new to the channel, hit make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell, boys. Come join the family. 
Go down below, comment what you guys are doing for Series 3, and what Redux are you excited for, guys? Specifically, what limited time are you guys waiting for, and who would you use your Power Pass? I'd like to see all that specifically for when I make my Power Pass video. And guys, if you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button. Let's get this video to 200 likes. All the loyal OGs, all the fans, hit that like button, boys. It helps with the channel tremendously. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.